I finally did it. I built an observatory in my backyard. That's right, after 10 years of setting up my camera and telescope for astrophotography, I finally have a permanent setup to photograph the night sky. This eight foot wide by eight foot tall dome will house my tracking mount and my telescope and my camera and all the other accessories I need for deep sky astrophotography. This project has been in the works for nearly six months now. To actually look back and see the dome here in my backyard really is a dream come true. The deck, the pier, the concrete footing, the picking up of the observatory and the construction has taken about two months. Ash and I rented a 12 foot trailer and actually picked the dome up ourselves at the factory last week and it was a wild ride so if you saw an observatory in a trailer driving down the QEW last week that was me. The observatory is a sky shed pod. This is the XL5 version with five pod bays for stuff like a computer desk and a beer fridge. The owner of sky shed and fellow rocker Wayne Parker and I had a conversation last year about my current situation of hauling gear in and out of the garage each night. Wayne basically stopped everything he was doing to guide me through this process, give me a list of what I needed to do, and get me up and running as soon as possible. So I guess I'm a part of the pod family now, and there's a lot of us. Having this observatory is a nice extra, but don't think that it means that I won't be sharing beginner level tutorials and information and testing gear outside of the observatory. This observatory will allow me to collect new images on a more consistent basis. It'll be running every clear night whether I'm hanging out inside of it or not. You may have noticed that inside of the observatory is a new telescope mount. This is the software bisque my T or Mighty Mount. This is an observatory grade telescope mount that will allow me to tap into some serious automation features, but there's a huge learning curve that comes along with it. The mount is currently on loan from the supportive folks at Software Bisque. And I'm not gonna lie, this mount scares the shit out of me. Where's the hand controller? The plan is to mount the William Optics Fluorostar 132 refractor on this mount but it's an evolving process and I'm not entirely sure what the final kit will look like. The goal is to have the automation side of things in here ready to go before winter because you know, I live in Canada. So far I've spent one clear night here in the observatory and it was an unbelievable experience. This dome opening seems to frame the night sky as if it were a movie. There's a coziness to it too, just having this semi-dome on the one side of you it blocks stray light, it blocks the wind. You can of course just turn it on the wheels here. It's just, it's just the funnest thing ever. I can't wait to fill this thing with all my stuff. 
So I'll be spending a lot of time in here this summer and I'll share absolutely every aspect of the telescope build out. Oh, and Wayne, if you're watching, I just had one more question about the Skyshed pod. Is it okay if I stand on, oh, never mind. I almost forgot to tell you the name of the observatory. It had to be something that represents this channel and what matters most to you guys. Mm -hmm.